video. Hi there. If we haven't had a chance to meet yet, my name is Eric Hughes and I'm one of the chaplains here in DCU. And DCU's chaplaincy exists to provide care, to create community and to nurture spirituality. To put it simply, we are here for you. And these are times when we hear a lot, and I mean a lot, moped. These are times when we hear a lot, and I mean a lot about self-care, self-help, self-love. And you know what? It is important because in the past, it used to be all about the grind, the hustle, early to rise and lay to bed and get the job done. We all know now that while that might get you ahead, it does nothing for our mental health. In fact, one of the good things, maybe the only good thing to come out of this mess of a pandemic is that we've all learned to slow down a bit and reflect whether we want to or not. We've been forced moped outside. What's going on? There's a moped outside and it's going boom, boom, boom. I don't know if you can hear that. Maybe you can't. Whether we want to or not, we've been told to sit at home and not focus on our normal routines, our usual grinds. And some of us have thrived under these conditions. Some of us have learned to make bread, we've written our novels or crushed a Joe Wicks working. Now, if you're anything like me, your lockdown achievement has been binging Netflix, discovering TikTok or learning the perfect pour over technique. But what I wanna ask, what does real self-care look like? What does it look like for you? So we've been told to take care of ourselves, but are we really taking care of all of ourselves? Because many experts believe we're a mind, a body, and a soul. Now I know I may have tripped some of you over that third part because many of you won't consider yourself to be religious or spiritual people, but please stick with me here because I'm going somewhere with this and you don't have to be religious to get something out of this. But to truly be a fully healthy version of ourselves, we need to look after all three of those aspects. We need to fill up all three of those tanks or something, I don't know cars. Now two out of the three of those, we normally do a pretty good job of doing. See, we all have a mind, that's the easy one. The mind is the computer in our head that tells the rest of us what to do. And looking after our mind is usually the main reason we go to college. It's what education is all about. But it's not just school. Reading books, podcasts, watching TED Talks, all that kind of stuff is great for our mind. But now it's not just all book learning. Not just all book learning. Not just all book learning that's good for looking after our minds. Going for a walk. I love going for a nice peaceful walk. It helps open my mind. It helps clear my thoughts. It connects me to my inner voice. And the second one is our body. We all have a body. And filling up the body tank. Now that doesn't work. I'm not. I'm dropping that whole analogy. Maybe you're into the gym. Maybe you love an easy 5k or you know what I'm talking about. But look, the older I get, the more I appreciate my body. And over lockdown, I've gotten into doing yoga. It's nice and easy, it's low impact, and it's great for all my joints because I really love being able to walk without my hips clicking. I sound so old, of course. Now, I'm not talking about turning into a health nut overnight, but it is important to look after our bodies. We only have one body. We should all be doing what we can do to look after our bodies. Get up, stretch, walk around, do something. We need to look after our mind and our body. But we're talking about being the best version of ourselves here. We're talking about self-care and care for all of us. And so it's not just about looking after our mind and our body, we have to look at that third part of ourselves as well, that third tank, our soul. Stay hydrated, it's good for your body. We are more than just the computer in our head or the machine we walk around in. And when I talk about the soul part of ourselves, I don't necessarily mean it in a religious way. You see, we all have dreams. We all have passions. We all have desires. We all have that part of ourselves that is more than just our potential career or our personal best. It's why we as a species looked at the moon and thought to ourselves, I wanna go there. It's why we write sci-fi, or it's why we daydream and we really should be listening to the guy at the front talking about something. To truly be our full selves, we need to fill up our souls as well. So I ask you, what's your passion? What makes you feel alive? Me, I love music. Music was the first thing that I was ever really passionate about. And I really wasn't passionate about much when I was a kid. When I had to come clean, I was terrible in school. But the first time I played a G chord on guitar, I felt alive, I was a new man. And even though I'm never gonna be a rock star like I thought I would, 
I still love music and I still make time for it in my week. And I found that there's a big difference in my mood when I don't get to play music in a while. So I've learned that as well as putting effort into my headspace and my body health, I need to make time for my soul as well. And music is in my soul. So I ask, what's that thing for you? It's your passion your desire what makes you happy now i've also found that when i take time to connect to something bigger something outside myself i gain a greater appreciation for my place in the world and when i take time to acknowledge the divinity in every person around me i tend to treat people better and so i want to encourage you this week to do something that makes you happy to do something that brings you joy and to do it for no other reason other than it brings you joy Now for me, this week, I've made sure to drink my morning coffee before it gets cold. And doing this had nothing to do with productivity. It didn't prove any kind of point. It just made me happy. So I want to encourage you, do something this week that makes you happy. And I pray that God blesses your week and thank you for spending some time with me. See ya.